I'm going to start off by being intentional in reading in Isaiah chapter 41, verses 10 through 13, and it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who rage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, for I will help you. Now before I continue with this, I want to tell you something about little Jaden. Little Jaden had really bad social anxiety. Little Jaden would stutter a lot, and whenever he would ask for something, I would get tongue-tied, and it would just not go my way. I would feel like the world was so big, and I was so small that I could not overcome it. But one thing I didn't realize is that I had a big father. You see, yeah. whenever my father would look at me and see that I was struggling, he would grab me by, by my hand and say, Why are you worried? Si tu anda conmigo. In English, he was saying, Why are you worried if you're with me? Yes. You see, for you, that might mean nothing, but for me, it meant everything because something you need to know about my father is that he was very charismatic, always outgoing, always talking to people, always making friends. He would do whatever it took to protect me and my family. So when little me heard, you are with me. It changed my mindset because now I was no longer worried about my situation, but now I was focused on who he was. Come on. Yeah. 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 See, the thing about my father is that he was the same at home as he was outside. Mm. He was the same father that would help me when I fell down. He was the same father that would fight on my behalf if the waiter gave me a chicken nugget instead of a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> It's because my outside situation is not determined who he was to me or who I was to him. Yeah. See, in that moment, the Israelites, they were told that they were going to be captured. But God wanted to remind them that he was the same God. That yes. he was going to strengthen yes. them no matter if they were captured yeah. or not. Yeah. No matter if they were sin or not. That yeah. he was going to hold them and lift them up. Yeah. You see, because no matter what the situation might be, God will always be your father. Yeah. No matter what you might be going through, he will always stand there holding your hand saying, I am with you. Yes. You are yeah. with me. Yes. Yes. Come on. See, because... Once we realize that our God, our Father is bigger than our situation, we realize that we were never alone. Yeah. See, in 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 16 through 18, it says, Do not be afraid, the prophet answered, for those who are with us are more than those who are against uh, those who are with them. Mm -hmm. And Elijah prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. And the Lord opens the servant's eyes, and he looked, and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elijah. Mm -hmm. And as the enemy came down towards them, Elisha prayed and said, Lord, strike the enemy down with blindness. So he struck them with blindness, just as Elijah had asked. See, for a little backstory, the Israelites were at war with the king of Aram. And the king of Aram said, let us uh, make camp at this certain place. What king Aram wanted to do was um, ambush the Israelites. But God wanted to warn the king of the of Israelites. So he sent Elisha to go warn when King Aram found out about this, he sought after Elisha and wanted to surround him in the city. And here we are, Elisha and his servant surrounded with a big enemy, but with an even bigger father. Yes, yes. yes. When the passage said that Elisha told, told his servant, there are more with us than there are with them. It's like if he was saying, do not forget who is with us. Yeah. It's because what the devil wants you to do is focus on the outside enemy and forget who is with you. He wants you to focus on the enemy that, that is surrounding, on the enemy that is so big, but he, we need to focus on the God that is bigger than that. Yes. See, as I was um, reading this passage, it came to mind a memory of when we were in districts, and one of our leaders, Dennis, he was sitting with his wife and his child, and his daughter was saying how nervous she was to perform. And before Dennis could say anything, his wife said, why are you worried? Do you not know who your parents are? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, because we need to understand that our father is bigger than the situation. Yeah. Yeah. That just, that because we come from him, that's more than enough. See, the reason why his wife said that to, the, to her daughter was because she wanted to remind her daughter that because she came from her, that's more than enough. God wants to remind you that because you come from him, that's more than enough for the situation. Amen. See, because when we realize the, the, the significance of our father, we realize that we have authority over our situation. Yes. And verse 18, it says that Elisha prayed that the enemy be struck with blindness and God did as such. See, because we have to understand that our father is greater than all. We must stop listening to the deception of the devil and start to view our father as our protector, as our provider, as our refuge, as our voice of reason. See, we must start to our situation. Do we not know who my father is? So I close with this. We must stop listening to the devil 
that, our en that the enemy that is against us is bigger and we must start opening our eyes to view that the God is bigger, that our Father is bigger, that He sends chariots of fire to defend us. Yes. And we must walk now in life fearlessly knowing that God is saying, come with me because I will protect you. Amen. Amen. Yeah.